So I just, I just won't know how long we've gone. I have to remember that we started about 10 to the hour. I need to see somebody chatting to know we're live though. Are we live? Hello everybody. Sorry, technical problems once again. I think we're live. I won't know unless I see chat. They zoom right on your I know. These kids are already zooming. They're just so tiny and cute. All right, there we go. Now we got the chat. Hello, everybody. Genius. Good. Glad it's working. So uh, here we are. We got some new kittens. I know everybody's very excited. Uh, and I will show them all to you. Plus, we have a new mom cat upstairs. We got to go meet. I don't know anything about any of them yet. They gave me the paperwork, and I didn't even look at it yet. Uh, all I can tell you is that we have five kittens that are really cute. They look like they're all long hairs, like their mom. And uh, it seems like three of the five are running around and exploring everything. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> it's so floofy. I know, they're so floofy. It's too much. So um, uh, we already checked them out a little bit. There's, there's First off, there's four sort of t long haired tabbies and one that is all black, you see him there in the corner. And there's two sort of light gray tabbies and two dark gray tabbies. So gotcha. yeah, what we have determined is, uh, this there's is one of the dark gray. dark kind of tabby. Mm -hmm. Do we have and a light one to compare there's to? There's a light one. Hang on buddy, come here, come here. I know you wanna go zoom, but look how tiny and cute you are. There's a light, light one, that's one. A good. So let's put them together so they can compare. This is there. a dark tabby. Light do you see the difference there? Ah. I'm sure you do. Uh -huh. uh, this is just like all gray, and this one has some some sort of brown in it. And uh, so what we've determined yeah. is that there's two that are all gray, and they're girls. girls. Yep, and there's two that are dark like that. Whoops, that are boys, and uh, the black one there is also a boy. So mm -hmm. if you're keeping track, that's oh, three hi. boys and two girls. Three boys, two girls, and of course their mom. Mom <laughs> seems. Like, uh, I think she's going to be real cool, but she seems like she's been through a lot and just wants to take some time to chill out to figure things out. Um, I think after that, she's going to come around. But right now, she's, she's acting a little scared. She wants to find a hiding spot. So we gave her a little hiding spot. Her kids all know where to find her. And they're, some of them, as you can see, three of them, three are in there snuggled up. And two are, I can't believe these kids are already climbing stuff. Look at that. That's a tall climb for these little tinies. They're everywhere. And that's a boy and a girl, as you can tell, because there's one that's gray and there's one that's darker. The girl is the gray one. She's jumping all over the boy. Oh, bounce, hop, bounce, hop. So we're going to have to figure out collars or names or something because they do so far look the same, the two girls and the two boys. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you guys are following, if you just joined us for this first close-up of the year, by the way, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, happy 2022 to you. I know we're a little late coming in on the close-up. Um, so uh, it's worth mentioning we have Bumbles and Buttons still here. They both got their spays, and neither one turned out to be pregnant at all. Um, and they will probably stay here until they get adopted. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw the question, how many fosters do you have now? Uh, so that makes it four plus the kittens, which uh, wouldn't have counted in Illinois. And that would have been, uh, would be at the legal limit right now in Illinois if we were still there. Um, I checked in Connecticut when we moved. I couldn't find that there were uh, legal limits set here. So I guess we're fine. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Muriel's just watching these kittens. I bet she wants to mom them. I bet if she came in here, she would immediately yeah. be like she grooming just them. Has to mom yeah. But we're not gonna. We're probably not gonna let them meet. I don't think Muriel's gonna be here long enough to justify. We'll see. We'll see if their mom turns out to be like super social and everything lines up just right. Then you know we're not gonna really avoid it. But not not today for sure because they just got here. They need to learn their space and their. They're setting first before they even think about meeting anybody what? else. What? What? You're insane. Yeah, these two. Oh, you're so funny. You're so funny. You're so light, mm. like a little cloud. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. She is like a little cloud. Look at that little cloudy face, too. She's like, please put me down. I was in the middle of playing. I would like to return to that. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Okay, gotta go. And Muriel's like, I thought you told me I wasn't going to have any more of these. 
Oh my god, the zoom is mm -hmm. so cute. I can't. Muriel really, yeah, look at the way she's playing. watching them. She really is like, she wants to play with you them. said I was done. Why, why do I have more kittens all of a sudden? <laughs> It's okay, Muriel. These ones aren't yours. They're not all yours. I don't know if you guys properly saw this this cage uh, box tower thing that they're in. I don't know what to call it. DJ bought this. We're kind of going with the space theme finally. I've wanted it for a long time. DJ picked this thing out uh, I, without even really planning to be part of the space theme. I think she yeah, just saw it. She just saw it and wanted it. And then I was like, well, now I get my space theme. See, you've done it. I would love to pull all these kittens out and snuggle them, uh, but I'm gonna give them a little time to, to settle in, especially mom. So we'll come back to them. And uh, if they are going to continue to live in the bottom of this rocket, uh, which I hope they do because it's the best place in the room for them, for us. Uh, if they are, I'm going to get a little camera and put it over here too so you can watch them like this all day long, which would be great. I guess it remains to be seen, though, if that's going to be the case. Is there a little black kitten in there too? He's sitting all the way in the back. Hi. I see him back there. Yes. So let's go upstairs and meet our other new arrival. All right. Hi, Mew. Hi. Hi, boy. Hi, Mew. Oh, he just talked. Did you hear that? No. He said a tiny little... They were doing it in the car, too, when they were playing. They were making little tiny Mew. Mom didn't say a word, but the little kittens were like... You just did one. Will you do it again? You got something you want to say to me? Mm -hmm. He seems just a little nervous about this. I think he feels cornered by me. He's good. They've all got big, big bellies. I think wormy bellies because they feel very skinny, but their yeah. bellies are big. That's that's like a worm sign. I'll have to check the papers. Uh, we typically start deworming at six weeks. I think we are allowed to do it as soon as two, though, so they should be okay. Um, but if their papers say that they're six weeks, then I'm just going to be like, well, it's a no-brainer then. Let's just get right in it. So we'll see. Although I got to tell you, the little kittens with their little round bellies are just the cutest thing. I can't look at that. Look at that little round belly. He just needs more weight on him. I don't know yet whether they're, we oh, they did all eat though, didn't they? You just saw all the kittens. Yeah. So all the kittens just ate for the DJ. Other, um, I think maybe half on bite. Oh, the black little, little black kitten wanted, wanted to hide. He, yeah, the little black kitten wanted to hide instead of eat, but everybody else ate, I guess. So we'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. They just need some time to settle in. So I'm going to leave DJ here to play with kittens, and we're going to go upstairs and meet our mom. Oh, do they know where the litter box is? Do you Not want to yet. show her? I should. She's just trying to find a thing to play with. She's like, look, there's more out there. Let's go out there. Do you want to be the first one to meet the litter box? We don't know if you've ever met a litter box before, but if they're five weeks old, they should be ready to use it if, if they've been keeping up with their lessons, which, uh, which we don't know. Oh, uh, she's just going to eat it. Okay, we got to get them a, a corn uh, litter oh, box in here. Okay. She's just going to, yeah, she went straight to eating the litter. So that's fine. Okay, sorry. Uh, so for kittens this age, by the way, again, I, we're told these are five weeks old. I'm just going to go with that until I check the papers. They look, it looks about right. So for kittens that are five weeks old, they should have already been weaned. They, they shouldn't need to be nursing, but they still will. And they should also be just starting to use the litter box consistently. Uh, five weeks is, is probably at the age where they might be ready to use it every time or they might still be finding wrong places mm -hmm. to go. I don't know. Well, what do you do? Let so we'll see. bring them a little litter box with some edible litter so that they don't eat all the litter. And uh, well, that's what that's what we usually do. That's what we'll do. So that's the deal. All right, let's head upstairs to our other new arrival we get to meet today. I'm going to use a little hand sanitizer because I don't know what anybody's got. And uh, I don't want to bring anything between the rooms that's easy to avoid. So there we go. All right, now. Oh, she's just going into the litter box. That's good timing. Do you see that tail? Maybe she's decided this is the place that she wants to be. I don't know. Oh, hi. Hi, you seem uh, like you were ready to go. Come here, hi. 
Now you want to see me in everything? Okay. She just had a big meal, and now it looks like she's ready to say hi. Hi. Oh, can you hear that purr? Look at that whiskers too, are those crazy? So uh, this is the other cat that arrived today. She is a pregnant mom cat. We know for sure she's pregnant because there was an x-ray that was given to us and it showed little kittens, uh, probably four or five. I don't know for sure. I counted four on the x-ray very easily. So I'm confident there's at least four. Um, and uh, once again, I haven't checked her papers, so I don't know anything else about her to share with you right now. I wish I did, sorry. But uh, that's the extent of my current knowledge. That and the fact that she and the other cat, both uh, cat and kittens, all came to us from Georgia. They came on the, the same transport that so many of our cats have been coming on. And, uh, and she seems friendly. That's, that's literally all I can tell you. She's, uh, she's long-haired, as you can see. She's got a very floofy tail, and she's apparently very friendly and affectionate. <laughs> she's purring and head-butting me and grooming my fingers. Yes, okay. And, oh, oh, yeah, okay. I can't feel specific kittens, but that belly. Now, that's a pregnant belly right there. And because we saw um, skeletons on the x-ray, that means that she's probably at most got like two weeks left. Uh, it could be a little bit more than that, but it's, it's usually two weeks would be the most. And so probably about less, less than two weeks would be my guess. Of course, right now, that's just a raw guess. <laughs> Will you climb on my lap to get attention? Do you, do you do laps? Hi, hi, I don't know if you do or not. I love her silly little spots. She's got this silly little spot on her face. And then she's got, oh, hi, hi, hi. So that she keeps licking me for attention like a dog. Uh, she, look at these little spots down here on her, on her paws. Aren't those cute? Why do you keep licking me for attention? That's very cute. Little headbutt, little lick. So uh, I mentioned this on the, the regular live stream already when I first brought her in, if you were watching. I did notice immediately that she's got a little bald spot here at the base of her tail. And that's we see that uh, with other cats that have come in as uh, either fleas or stress or both. Uh, rarely we've seen issues like that that can be other things uh, like allergies. Um, and then, of course, people that are experienced fosters immediately might think something like ringworm. Uh, it doesn't look like ringworm to me. Uh, the chances of it being that exact spot are pretty slim. And uh, I just don't think that's the case. You'd probably be patchier. So my guess is it's either fleas or uh, just a little bit of over grooming. And uh, by now, it's, it's probably already on the mend. We'll just keep an eye on it and see. I don't think it's anything to be worried about. It's good. It's good. Uh, the, the mom cat downstairs does seem like she's a lot more nervous, but she's not to deal with. She's got kids to be nervous about, and she's got uh, doors on three sides and the windows on the fourth side, so that room's got to really feel like one of the less defensible places in the house. Um, but I know she'll come around real fast and figure it out. Uh, looks like my camera just froze up, which has happened before on these if you've watched, uh, so... Let's just see if I can unfreeze it. Give me one sec. Mm, I'm gonna have to take some drastic measures here.